It's a story all too familiar among the firefighter community. An Arizona firefighter is diagnosed with cancer after years of being exposed to dangerous carcinogens on the job. They submit a workman's compensation claim only to be denied and told their cancer is not work related. According to the Industrial Commission, 25% of those claims have been denied since April of last year. Now Arizona lawmakers are stepping in and closing a loophole that they say many cities and insurance companies have taken advantage of. The laundry at Fire Station 504 isn't just a chore. It saves lives. Dirty turnouts were once a badge of honor. Now, that thinking has shifted. We realize now that these unburnt products of combustion are causing our members cancer and, and it's killing us. So we've taken proactive steps to uh, get ahead of this. Because of the increased incidence of cancer among firefighters, they're taking new precautions to ensure deadly carcinogens are not coming home with them. And once the fire is out, the firefighters will bring out their decontamination kits. Now, these have trash bags where they can put their old turnouts. And it also has hoses and brushes and soaps so that they can clean their turnouts to make sure all the carcinogens are completely off. And we wash the gross decontaminants off of our gear. These protections were not available to prevent Peter Benzing's cancer. I thought, um it'd be very unlikely that I would get a cancer diagnosis. Benzing had worked for the Casa Grande Fire Department for 10 years when he learned he had prostate cancer. They were able to determine that they were very aggressive cancer cells. He had no family history of cancer, was in good health, and he exercised regularly. A study done by the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health found that firefighters have a 28% increased risk of getting prostate cancer. We noticed that uh, a lot of our members, not only within our fire department, but nationwide, were losing their lives and livelihoods to cancer. But firefighters are not alone in this fight. In Arizona in 2017, lawmakers passed a bill that helps firefighters who get certain cancers while on the job. So in 2017, we thought we were perfectly clear that we expected firefighters to be able to file for workman compensation benefits. Unfortunately, government being what government is, has found a way to work around Around the bill that we put in place. Despite the law, Benzing's workman's comp claim was denied by the city. An independent medical exam found there was no hardcore evidence that Benzing's cancer was caused by carcinogens on the job, leaving him with big medical bills, legal bills, and a pile of stress. The two things that fuel cancer cells the most are stress and sugar. I can give up the sugar. I can control the sugar, but it's difficult for me to control the stress. Now some state senators want to prevent this from happening to others. There will be no more guessing whether you will or not receive your benefits. You will receive your benefits. The proposed legislation takes the burden of proof off the firefighters. Now, having a cancer diagnosis is all the evidence they need. Now, our firefighters will be able to focus on fighting cancer and not fighting government for their benefits. That's good news for Benzing, who has more on his hands than most. After his wife died from cancer in 2016, he became a single father to his daughter, Alex, a task made harder during his recovery. And, you know, it was frustrating because I couldn't pick her up. She's very physical. She like, likes to jump. Socks. Benzing's treatment was successful, and his life is getting back to normal. And while he is still fighting to protect firefighters like him, he always finds time for his daughter. There's some, um, seems to be a little less me time, and I'm perfectly fine with it. Perfectly fine with it, because she's a lot of fun to be around, and we have a good time together. There is one more proposed change coming from the legislature that will add to the list of presumptive cancers that are covered. Ovarian and breast cancers will be covered, extending coverage to Arizona's female firefighters. In the studio, Dylan McKim, Cronkite News.